hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm going to be talking about the number of blocks that can come out from one bag of cement for shocking space that's the use of a mortar how many blocks will come out from it we use three bags of cement but then you can see that some of the mortar has been used so for the measurements we use 12 buckets of sand to one bag of cement you can also use 10 buckets or you can use 11 buckets either you use bucket or you can also use head pan for your measurement but for this very project we use bucket so it's still the same measurement so because we use because we use 12 bucket or to a pan for a measurement to one bag of cement so our calculation will be based on 12 buckets of of a uh, sand so the calculate the counting system that will get the number of blocks that will get will be based on 12 buckets of sand this is the shocking space where for the motor so that's where the motor will be placed so the space for the shocking space is two inches you can see that i'm touching the tip where the measurement is in feet so it's two inches that's the space that is there so you have to make use of your measuring tape this is the thickness of the motor so from the top of the motor to the top of the block so that's the thickness of the motor so i'm using measuring tape to take the measurement so the measurement is an inch an inch is not to two inches so it's an inch so i just measured it there so with the use of measuring tape i was able to know that the thickness of the motor is an inch so just for some pieces or maybe more than that maybe more than that so the person in charge of the service so is the one giving them mortar and block so he's removing the the mortar that is on the floor with the use of shovel so that the mortar will not be a waste so he can still use it and we miss with the other ones that that they are using so to avoid wastage this is a is a decking is a floor that is already casted so that has been casted so you can be able to remove it without any sand mixture with on it and enter any sand mixture added to it so he has to pack it so that one will also be part of the of the motor as well so you can see the the arrangement of the block so the bricklayer is doing his work he's setting the block you can see the joint that's where the, the shocking space i was talking about the space between the block where the motor will be that's the shocking space you can see that is new so they are working on on that very one so the ones that is already dry you can no longer see it like the way it is now so when they are done you have to rub it with they have to rub it so that it will be neat so it's very important that they have to rub it but if they don't rub it the the job will not be neat so as you can see this very one it has been rubbed so and it's is looking fine you understand so you can actually see the shocking space that the space between each blocks so and wherever there is window so you have to consider the window position that is in where there is no block there so the size of the window has already been measured properly so that the blocks will not be placed there so wherever there is also wherever there is door you have to consider a uh, where the door is there will be no block there so it depends on the design so the design that will tell you where the window will be where the door will be where whatever features that you are placing will be so that you know how to how to position your here the door will be where the window will be so that you know how to position your your block so if there is pillar there and so you know how to do your arrangement so you can see some place the space between the 
there is space between the block arrangement so that space there is being so if you uh, there's some is that there is no a uh, block arrangement from the ground from the decking floor so that's where the door position is and we measured the size of the door so uh, it depends on the design so, and if, you, if the door from from for entrance to living room that's parlor is four feet four feet so that it's be convenient for them to place position their share and then to to move their share or move whatever they want to move to the living room then for a room the size of the door is three feet so it also depends what the owner wants as well because some person may prefer just once he or she wants four feet size of window of a door there so it all depends on what the owner wants but the normal size of door of a room is three feet then the door for for toilet is two feet six that's two feet six inches so you have to you measure so you get to the position of the door for the toilet or two as well please so it all depends on it all depends on your design so it is your design that will control where there will be spacing panel and uh, where there will be spacing for the window here there will be where the spacing for the door will be so now i'm counting the number of blocks that the theory that the theory bags of cement from mortar will produce so that's what i'm i'm doing now so i'll have to create another video so that you understand how to count block without stress in the easy way or the method i use i just counted everything one after the other because the blocks are not that that uh, many so i'll teach uh, an easy way to count it so that will be in another video so what i'm doing i'm counting so after counting i'll give you the final the final result so when i was done counting the total number of blocks that the mortar from theory bags of cement we was able to produce using 12 buckets of sand was 240 number of blocks for three bags of cement then then one bag of cement we produce 80 number of blocks for 12 bucket or a pound of sand so from my calculation uh, 12 buckets of sand we produce 80 blocks for one bag of cement so if you want to reduce the the bucket of sand to 11 buckets of sand so you will get 73 number of blocks also if you want to reduce the bucket of sand or the pound sand if i say bucket you can also uh, use a pound if you want to reduce it to 10 buckets or 10 pound of sand you will have you will get 66 numbers of blocks so i think for it is it is preferably when you are doing your calculation to work with 10 buckets or you can also use 11 buckets for your calculation so it's better for you to to drop down the calculation so the other uh, numbers will not be the ss is better off but for me i prefer to work with the 10 buckets for my calculation so with this video you'll be able to understand clearly on how to calculate for this it is better to work with 10 buckets of sand or 10 head pan of sand for one bag of cement for this motor process when you are doing your calculation but when you want to implement it you can use 12 or you can use 11 depending on the sand if the sand is a sharp sand you can use 12 only when it's a sharp sand i'll make another video on how to recognize sharp sand 
if it's a sharp sand that's when you use 12 but if it's not a sharp sand it's better for you to go below you can use 10 or you can use 11 so i would just prefer use 10 use 10 for your calculation because you may use 12 and the person that wants to build the the building may use 10 so we now get lesser number of blocks for a, a bag of a bag of cement so it's better to just calculate with 10 buckets or 10 pounds of note that this video is for five inch five inches block setting because they use five inches here if it's six inches you it will require more mortar so this very video is for five inches so that when you are doing your calculation you know that it's for five inches that you use this very recording so i will have to produce another video for six inches and also for nine inches another day so this one is for five inches block please comment subscribe give this video a thumbs up bye